The political calendar is about to turn to a busy 2024 election year in Wisconsin. But tonight, one candidate is focused on 2025 by jumping into the Wisconsin Supreme Court race. New at 10, Mary McCarr looks at why the state's high court is now higher stakes for Republicans. The next Supreme Court race isn't until 2025, but there's already a candidate who's putting his name in the hat in hopes of flipping that newly liberal majority back to conservative. I fear we're entering another dark period of liberal leadership, especially on the Wisconsin Supreme Court. Former Attorney General and self-described ultra-conservative Brad Schimmel is getting a really early start on campaigning for a seat on the state's highest court. I'm running to restore integrity and accountability to Wisconsin Supreme Court. Charles Franklin with the Marquette Law School poll says the early announcement by Schimmel was a bit surprising. I can't recall a Supreme Court race that had a similarly early announcement for a candidacy. According to Franklin, picking your party in Supreme Court races isn't new, but candidates openly sharing their beliefs or values has become a growing development in candidates' campaigns, one that voters are now looking for. In our latest Marquette Law School poll, we asked people if they wanted candidates to talk about the issues or avoid talking about issues so as not to appear to prejudge cases. And an overwhelming majority, over 80 percent, including 70 percent of Republicans, said they wanted the candidates to talk about the issues that uh, they stood for. With sharing values comes a fine line where candidates are tasked with not prejudging cases. It's a line conservatives say Justice Protasiewicz crossed in her campaign last year, and one Democrats say Schimmel has in his career, too. Progressive group A Better Wisconsin Together saying in a statement, he's shown us throughout his career that his extremism on issues informs his actions. Franklin says with more and more policy issues being settled in the courts, it'll be hard to pull the politics out of judicial elections. We're seeing these elections being contested more like November general elections and much less like nonpartisan elections. Schimmel will face longtime liberal justice Ann Walsh Bradley, who has held on to the seat for three decades. In Waukesha, Miriam McCart, TMJ4 News.